This shelf's been ugly for way too long. It's time to do something with this. The title says we're going to be growing immersed plants. Basically what that means is you take your aquatic plants, but you grow them terrestrially in a humid environment. Here's my bacopa growing out of my Dario Dario bowl. That's kind of the idea of immersed plants. And we're going to be doing this today just because I have nothing else to do with this tank and thought it would be fun. This little crypt I have growing here in a terrarium is probably the best example of what we're going to be accomplishing today. First thing we need to do is uh, clean out this tank. It's got a bunch of sand I don't want, so there we go. I had this funky dragonstone looking driftwood lying around and I figured it'd be kind of cool to include in here because it means we can grow stuff like java fern immersed for instance. Now to prevent mold growth in a terrarium a good idea is a drainage layer so we're going to be putting some rocks in here now. Normally I'd use gravel I had laying around in my room but I couldn't find any that would be enough to you know fit this terrarium so I just went outside and grabbed all the rocks I could. Now here I'm just grabbing some mesh. I use this in all my terrariums to prevent the dirt layer from merging with the rocks so that, you know, the drainage layer is actually useful. Apparently you're supposed to use this stuff in a well-ventilated area, so, you know, we got our fan. Now you don't technically have to do this step. You'd probably just get away with just dirt, but that's more likely to end up giving you mold, so that's why I like to do that because of the amount of moisture we're gonna have in here. But really the mesh is probably unnecessary. I'm just so used to doing it, I have it lying around that I might as well. I like to add a bit of charcoal in any terrarium as it gives an area for springtails to inhabit and it apparently inhibits mold growth. Here we have the springtails. You can see them. They're very small white bugs and they're very helpful to inhibit mold growth and they'll eat decaying plant matter and they're just generally very welcome in any terrarium. So I thought I'd add them to this one. I had a bunch of dirt laying around from like plants I had repotted and I figured I might as well use this in here instead of going outside. So who knows if this dirt will provide a, you know, ideal substrate for these plants to grow in, but you know, we'll see what happens. I had it laying around, had to use it. Put the wood back in. The wood's really cool. I think it's gonna help give this thing a bit of a bit more character than it would otherwise, because otherwise it would just be a flat plane of plants with nothing really going on. I also added some rocks just to create a very small hardscape because we don't want to take away from the plants because we're gonna have a lot of them. Uh, first of all, I grabbed this crypt from the terrarium and I thought I'd add him to here. You know, he can be the first one there. He's my first immersed plant. He's doing quite well, so we'll add him into there first. Next up, I had some java ferns I took for my 10 gallons, stuck those right on the wood. There was also this pogo stamen hellfry. I had been floating this in the cup it came in, uh, the tissue culture that is, to, because it's a very high light plant. And um, yeah, now it's going in here. I'm gonna be keeping some of it in the tank just because you never know if this will actually turn out well and I'd rather not kill all of this plant. But it's quite a pretty plant. I mean, look at that. It's just really cool and I really like it and I'm really glad to have it. And hopefully it does really well in this immersed setup. I'd love to see it like just take off and create this really cool lush terrarium. I had this yogurt container of random plants and animals I had collected from a local pond and this plant had literally been growing inside this yogurt container for so long, you know, just getting the light that seeped through it, so I figured we could put him in here and see how he does. He deserves it, he's been doing so well in such an unideal condition. Of course, now that I'm moving him to something better, he's probably gonna die, that seems to be how these things go. Also got some milfoil, just gonna put that down there. I got this water wisteria from my 10 gallon that wasn't doing that great, just shoved it in the back there. Hopefully it'll grow. I then went to grab some of the bacopa from the bowl just because I thought it would look pretty cool in here and it was already growing immersed so there was no reason for me not to add some to here and it needed to be trimmed, just a bunch of reasons why I'd add it there. One thing I'll note is I'm planting it horizontally because apparently sprouts will kind of grow up out of the stem that way, whereas if you put it vertically you just kind of have an immersed stem that's growing vertically and it's going to have roots and there's nothing really going on there whereas otherwise you get a bunch of plants out of it. So hopefully that works the way it's intended. I also just put in some terrestrial moss because I thought it would look nice. 
After giving the enclosure a good misting, I just wanted to add some various botanicals I had laying around. So I added some pine cones and some ripped up leaf litter that I just had lying around that I had collected locally. Last thing I did is I just put some saran wrap over the top and then I just taped it down because I didn't have a proper lid for this thing or anything. And hopefully this will hold the humidity enough. So far it seems to have been, it's been about a week since I set this up. And you know, I hope it keeps on doing well because it's going to be a really cool project and hopefully in a few weeks I can update you guys when this thing's grown in a bit. But yeah, that's the terrarium and you know, it was feeling a little empty. It feels like it was missing something. So my local fish wizard, he gave me a little idea. Hmm, what can I do to make it a bit more interesting? Put a Skylander in it. Thank <laughs> you. 